Hey guys, what's up? It's Erica. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. I am posting every single day for the month of February to see how it affects my channel, whether it grows or to push myself to create new content that I don't normally create. For today's video, I am making a video talking about what sold in the month of January on Poshmark and Depop. I see a lot of other resellers make this video and I really enjoy watching these types of videos from other resellers. So I figured I would make Make one myself this month. I'm first gonna go through all my Poshmark sales and then I'll go through my Depop sales. So I had 11 Poshmark sales and four Depop sales with a total of 15 sales this month, which I would say is like a pretty average month for me. So the first thing that sold on January 2nd, they are the Superwoman metallic silver leather ankle leggings. I bought these at the bins. I didn't document this haul. I should have because this haul would have done really well, but I probably paid a dollar $1.50 at most for them. These pants retailed for $1,150, which is insane. I actually think they're pretty ugly because I kind of thought they weren't like the cutest and they're very niche. I don't know who's looking for like metallic leggings, especially at that price. I listed them kind of lower than what I would like normally list something that had retailed for that high of a price that I had found that was like literally not worn. And I sold them on Poshmark for $150. So my profit on them was around $110, which is really good for me. I feel like on average when I go to the bins, like I'll make $100 on a haul. So the fact that I already made over $100 on one item was amazing. And actually that was my first sale on any platform of the year. So that was a really good way to kick it off. On January 3rd, I sold a bundle. This bundle had this terracotta holder, which I had found on the side of the road for free. I thought it was cute and I put it in my house. And then I just had also listed it on Poshmark. This ivory silk blouse, which is the brand Cezanne, which I don't know why I was like not wanting to list it, but I was just being lazy. And then I listed it and it sold really quickly along with the Eileen Fisher dress, which I also was being lazy and didn't list for like months and just had it sitting around and that sold really quickly. The blouse and the dress I got from the bins. So for this bundle, they paid $62 and I profited $47. Then the next thing that I sold was a Lululemon blue sports bra, which I picked up at the bins for $1.32. I sold it for $17 and I ended up profiting $12.28. Then I sold this Shein patchwork corduroy jacket, which like I wish I wouldn't have picked it up because I normally don't pick up Shein, but I don't know why I just thought it would sell at like a buy sell trade store, but nobody was interested. Um, so I was happy when it finally sold. It sold for $8 and I made $4.17. Then my sister got a new phone for Christmas, so she listed her iPhone XR on Poshmark and she sold it for $190 and made $152. So I'm not gonna include that in my total profit at the end. And then I sold this for Lovin' Lemons polka dot bathing suit, which I bought about two years ago. Um, I was going to Maui and I bought a bundle of two for Lovin' Lemons bathing suits. And this one I shouldn't have bought because it is a really complicated bathing suit to wear and I just could never figure out how to put it on. I wore it once, maybe twice. And then I just kind of gave up and I was like, it's not worth it. So I sold that. I sold it for $70 and I made $54.50. I won't include that in my profits either because that wasn't really something that I bought to sell. And then on January 20th, we sold this yellow dress. Again, this was a dress that my sister bought to wear and she did wear. So it sold for $20 and her earnings were $13.54. Again, I'm not gonna include that in there. It wasn't purchased with the intent to sell. Then on January 21st, we sold this Ula Johnson dress. We bought it from the bins for $1.44. We sold it for $50 and profited $38.56. Then on January 23rd, I sold this Realization Par dress, which this is like actually rough to talk about. So this dress, I found at the bins like two, maybe three years ago, literally probably the best thing I've ever found because this dress was like everywhere. Every influencer had it. It was just so popular. And I was like over the moon that I found this dress. And my sister and I were like, you know, it's kind of not really in style anymore. And even though it was so amazing to find, I think it's time to part ways with it. Like neither of us had worn it in like years. I sold it for a hundred dollars and I also sold something else. And while I was packaging these two items, I accidentally put the wrong shipping label 
on them so the dress went to somebody else and the sports bra that i sold went to the person who bought the dress poshmark like sent each of the buyers the correct labels to reship them but i haven't been updated it doesn't look like they have reshipped them so i don't know what's gonna happen everything just seems kind of up in the air i feel really bad that i did that that's the first time that's happened to me and of course it happens on the item that i was like unsure about selling but was like you know what i should just sell it we'll see what happens if i get the earnings but hopefully they send it to each other or like send back their items i don't know what happens if neither of them send each other their items so my potential profits were 70 dollars on that but we're waiting to see what happens then on january 26th this was the item that i switched with the dress i sold this peloton lululemon collaboration sports bra I paid $1.25 for it. I sold it for $27 and my potential earnings are $18.55. I sold these Nike Air Force Ones. Um, my sister and I got these at the bins and we paid $1.32 for them. We sold them for $15 and our profit was $9.18. So my total profit on Poshmark, which doesn't include the items that like we had owned and sold or the potential earnings was $221.72. I have $88 of potential earnings if everything gets sorted out with the dress. We also made $219 on the items that we had had and used and ended up selling. Technically on those items, like we bought them for more than we sold them for. $219 is like a lot to get back for items that like a lot of people would just throw away or donate. If you list things online, you can get like a good amount of your initial cost back, which is great. So now we're gonna move to Depop. Like I said, I sold four items on Depop. Depop is not a place where I list a whole bunch of stuff. So on January 9th, I sold this gray free people top. I've had this forever, um, so I'm just glad it finally sold. Somehow I got this from the bins for three cents. A few months ago, I went to the bins and they charged me like 36 cents for my entire haul. I have no idea how. That was three cents. I sold it for $7 and I made $5.64. Then on January 14th, I sold this brown coach bag. Again, this is an item I've had for like a year and a half and I was just so happy to finally sell it. I bought it at the Sacramento Goodwill, which like I went to a lot at the beginning of COVID because the one the bins in San Francisco weren't open. The Sacramento ones are definitely not nearly as good, but that was kind of like my only place to get my bins fixed. So I went there. It had a lot of likes, but it never sold. I paid $1.30 for it. I sold it for $8, so I made $4.82. Then on January 16th, I sold these Coach Green Heels. I got them for $1.32. I sold them for $20 and I profited $15.60. And then on January 21st, I sold this helmet laying top, which my mom had bought from Nordstrom Rack to see if I could sell it for a little bit of retail arbitrage. We paid $16 for it. I sold for $25 on Depop and I ended up profiting $5.36, which is definitely super low, especially for retail arbitrage. And having such like a high buy-in price, but it was still a profit. I definitely did not make a lot of money on Depop. I made $41.88 from selling on Depop. So from the clothes that I bought to resell, I made $263.60. If the dress and the sports bra get sorted out, my potential earnings for January could be $351.60. And then if you include the sales of the iPhone and the dress and the bathing suit that I had owned and sold, that comes out to $570.60, which I'm actually kind of blown away with. I guess like my sister and I selling that iPhone, that was definitely big for the month. Those first pair of leggings I sold, those were amazing. So I would say we did pretty well. Those are my total profits of January, 2022. Let me know what you guys think about them, whether you think they're high or low. Um, there's definitely a lot of items that have very low profit margins um, and I definitely need to work on that this year. I think in general, I do kind of under list a lot of my items. I do feel like because I get them from the bins, like I'm okay with letting them go for less than if I paid a higher price for them and I don't have to like wait as long for the items to sell. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.